Hey everybody, welcome back. Having a good time playing the test build of Super Auto Pets? Here's how, you, listen, this squad can do it. Forget the magpie for now. This squad can get the job done. I would rather run it like this for now. But I like this team. Let's be um, a willing beaver. Hey, it would be nice if um, we didn't have to go to round 17 to get 10 wins last time. I know that sounds like that's that's overly cocky, but at the same time, it was mostly not because like, oh, I was so unhappy with how it went down. We won that! It was more because uh, I hated not getting a win for like our first seven rounds. Holy cow. Dude, I think, I think you go for it. On sell, summon a... One level one pet from your current tier as a 1-1. One, one. Let's give it a shot. We could get a tier six out of that in the late game. And I'm feeling okay. I, I'm feeling like this might be relevant too. Um, also, Willing Ranger. It was another viable name. Like if we're talking about rangers who are willing to elbow you in the head. Like Jacob Truba, for example. Sorry, it's a little NHL reference. Okay, so you're going to summon a, a little doggy. And we're gonna we're gonna get a win, but just barely. But I'll take it. This is another pretty strong team for this this early in the game. How about this? How about this? Roll me and see what you get. I'm I'm not disappointed in the slightest by what I'm seeing here. I know we haven't used our egg yet. Maybe we'd rather not buy the egg now that we got higher tier foods available. So you're gonna be like a five nine, like me in the tenth grade. And also, like, the 11th grade. And then I grew another inch in the 12th grade. But are you kidding me, man? What a what an incredible play. I'm not sweating it, though. Because you know why? I'm feeling great. I'm not sweating the trumpets. I'm really looking for another one of you. All right, can I tell you something you don't know? I love the door head ant. I think it's just an incredible unit. And I, I'll give you a small buff. And it might sound crazy. I'm willing to give you a small buff too, just to basically, this will have you summon a 2-2 dog. It's like buying a bee. And it also gives us a kickstart on any other trumpet abilities we might have. This sea urchin's gonna ruin my life. Yeah, yeah, I consider my life ruined. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was, that was uh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that. I wasn't aware that was a thing you could do. Level me. Two friends faint. Give the nearest friend behind plus three attack and plus three health. Do I want to sell and get some tier threes? I feel like I don't. Like, I know this sounds crazy. I feel like this squad, like, should be good enough. What are you doing? You're going to summon a level two pet. We could get a level two tier six or tier five later. Now, the, the manatee is going to do... It's going to take four damage but buff the friend directly behind. So we could... Ah, uh, but we don't really want to... Start of battle, end of turn. I think we want to buff the door head ant. Because buffing the... Uh, but buffing the bulldog is permanent. Th then you would get four extra, and then... Yeah, it probably... If, if we're going to be running the... This looks like a bit... Oh, it buffs the friend directly ahead. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Not the friend directly behind. We could totally fit this. That's the kind of mistake, you know, that's going to happen sometimes in the test build and also, like, in the real build. So just get used to it is what I would say. It's a strong lizard, brother. You got a, you got a strong lizard run in there. And yet, and yet I'm feeling okay because what are you doing with this guy? Your dude is just, he just blew himself up. He took the, he took the pacifist way out. Okay, we're on tier three. We have no tier threes. You need to go here. Slightly too late for an apple. It's not too late for... It might be too early for that because we could get a level next time. But uh, it's, it's tempting to sell something to get this sea lion giving us, uh, like, buffs to health. It's also tempting to keep you alive. Are we really going to dump a door head ant in order to get this going? I think to keep your manatee living, it would be nice, yeah? Yeah. We could put this on you, by the way. You would lose the cherry, but then when you died, you would give this guy like eight health. Let me look. 
Six health. So he'd be like a 715. I mean, he'd get mighty strong, mighty quick. I, I think because you're probably going to get sold at some point as well, this is not so bad. And in fact, he's going to be even... Oh, he killed himself! That's right! I, but there was nothing I could have bought that would have kept him alive. Whatever. I still think our bulldog gets the job done here. Like, look at this. He's a 914. Never mind, he's a 1714. Never mind, he's a 1512. Never mind, he's a 96. It's getting worse over time. We're fine, but it didn't work out to the extent that I thought it would. I would love to get a manatee out there again. I've had good runs with the manatee. I've had good run with the manatee. None of these are what we're looking for. I think the falcon can be incredible. Friend ahead faints. Oh, it, actually, the, the, the frog can be good too. But I really think the falcon can go hard. We do need to find a way to buff it though. I get, it's so tempting to just sell you and then get a 1-1 a one, one level 4. But it's a level... Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one tier 4, but it's a level 2. <sighs> Look at how many... Oh, dude, it could get a... We got to try it. It could be a macaw. Slug. Actually, I think this, it looks not that great, but I think it is. I think you sell the sea lion. I know we just bought it. Then you run slug, frog. And we'd love the frog to have an onion. If possible. We don't need to level a slug. It doesn't really improve on level up. I'm going to buy another manatee. I know I'm, I'm psycho with it. And we're on tier four, right? On tier four, we get three buffs out of a single lettuce. I'll take that. This was such a... Honestly, like I wasn't going to buy you, but you're, you're such a nice HP buff. And attack, I guess. But mostly I'm thinking about your survivability. Okay. Oh, you're, you're dead, but then that gives us a shot. And then you're dead, but that gives us a shot. And then you're dead, but that gives us a shot. And then you got your own slug out there, I see. We can also, if we put an onion on the frog, it'll get another chance to do better as well. Because it'll it'll move to the back and then it can, uh, it can trigger all over again. Like we could put a wolf in the fifth position and put an onion on our frog, which was the style at the time. Oh, we were so close there. Then, you might not be able to picture it right now, but I promise you, I promise you that's how it works. And now I'm realizing because of this lettuce, we don't really need the slug anymore. We still don't need it. It's just an empty space plus two gold. It worked for us last time. I don't, I don't think it's the way this time. Faint summons a groundhog. You actually do well for us. I'm going to buy another lettuce first. But you do well for us in a frog build, but you don't do as well as a wolf would. I know it sounds like a Dr. Seuss-style tongue twister, but you don't do as well as a wolf would. Now we're, we're facing a new problem. Our new problem is that actually the bulldog is like a liability. Before it was like, oh, it's so pog that his health is tied to, or his attack is tied to his health. Now it's like, oh no, his attack is tied to his freaking health. No! <laughs> so after like one attack, the dude is useless. After, after he takes one attack, his, his own attack plummets. So we're, we're in a rough spot. Like this combo is no longer working. Onion. You need the onion. And then I think like... You're, you're still decent. You're going to die this turn right now anyway. It makes sense to sell you and put you in the back position. Our frog will get two extra triggers. By the way, why are you a level one? Oh, because you were the level two that got spat out. That's right. Which, it, if I'm being honest, now that I think about it, it does kind of suck that that was the one that got spat out. Because a level two slug is not that meaningful. To get a slug is nice, but we wasted that extra experience that would have... Oh, no. We, we got no shot. Don't even don't even sweat it. This one is, is up in smoke. <laughs> At least we burned down the coconuts, but still. This is like... You, we, all we got is a prayer here. Uh, it's not going to be enough. 
<laughs> it's not. It's closer than it could have been, maybe. But all right. So that I, I'm. That's the worst run I've had on the test build. I don't know who to blame. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have been so excited to sell the stout. You know, maybe I should have let it ride a little more. But oh man, imagine if we got a level two frog, though. Imagine. I, I, I think I kind of blame me for relying on the bulldog too much. Why don't you try a magpie and then a goose um, to make whatever their first unit is into a magpie? And then what, what if we tried just... I, this is not a lot of attack on the squad. I'll be a bearded piece. I'll be a cliche chestnut, like maybe one roasting on an open fire, for example. But I feel like we can make like an indestructible magpie here and, and hope to annoy our enemies into submission. So far, so good. Oh no, they've got trumpets. Uh, it, do, it don't matter if you got trumpets. Look at this. Our strategy worked uh, completely. We draw these tests. Great name. Now, you're just better at the front here. I understand we weren't getting anything out of our magpie there, by the way. It's just, just the way of the dang world, isn't it? I think I would... I think I would buff you. I know this sounds weird, but then we get to save one gold for the next turn as well. So the, we, we get to spend 11 gold next turn. Even though we only spend nine this turn. You get the idea. Okay, a useless goose. But we're getting some good value out of this. You're, oh, no. They're, they're doing it to us now. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. And then you're going to buff me. And now I'm doing it to you again. But now you're doing it. And we, we got out of it. Okay. <laughs> it's a frenetic early game. Okay, my, my personal take. I think a penguin is okay. It's like a unit that comes with an apple. I'm going to keep buffing this magpie, I suppose. It's the best unit available. I'm going to level. On faint, make the most healthy enemy weak. It's not really what I'm looking for, but... It is, um, it's interesting. It's interesting. What happens if you level up? Make the, you make the two most healthy enemies weak? I'm thinking that maybe next turn we just toss like a chocolate cake on top of you. Yes, we saved one gold, by the way. You have to save it in order to use it with the magpie. This is, I mean, you might question what the utility of that is. I would question it as well, I suppose. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're giving it a chance. That's what we're gonna do. I, it can be a kickstart to an econ build if you get a gazelle or something like that. Plus, what a, what a win. That was a nice one. Nothing wrong with that. I think you dying, but being a level two when you die is kind of interesting. Not, not really sold on this. Anti-sold on this. I can roll... Oh, but you're a gazelle. You would only be... You'd be a 3-4. Suppose it is better than a penguin where we already got the effect. And we could spend three gold risk freeze and, and still have the magpie effect. So yeah, that now you're a four seven, you're getting two health every time you get hit. Two enemies are being weak, which is nice because it also overrides their equipment. It's also, it's eating up these bulldog squads, man. Holy cow. I'm feeling pretty clever. I'm feeling downright devious right now. There's four wins. I love the idea. Three XP means you'll be a level three when you die now. No, you'll be close though. <laughs> we need you. We can, it works out perfectly. Oh, but you can save two gold now. Okay, I understand. So we did it kind of wrong. Well, not really, because we get the... We still get to keep one, and you got the stats. Yeah, I'm not sweating that. I don't know if we really need a level three Silk Moth. We're on tier three. This would be a one-one buff for our flea, which we don't care for. Our gazelle, like if I'm just being honest with you, we're not. Oh, did I roll when I shouldn't have rolled when I should have saved? Yeah, it's my econ's all messed up. Just forgive me. Love it. Two weak enemies. Don't love it. I'm starting to not love it. 
I no longer love it. We got blown out by trumpets. That one was not even close. Okay. So that hurts. It was a strong team. Buy me? We need to get rid of this gazelle. Now you'll be a level three when you die. Let's freeze you and let's just save two. We don't, we just don't need it. Let's save two gold so we roll two gold over. Although I'm realizing now that I also probably on tier six should not have a level one tier two or level one, two, two base stats goose. That's probably, uh, <laughs> it's probably not that valuable. What's happening here? How'd you do that? It, it, I looked like I was in the clear and then you, you came out of nowhere and you're, you're the flying fish dog trumpet builds have been going off lately. I got to put some more respect on them. Okay, so you're a four five, but I don't I don't really respect that. What I do respect is this guy. I think you always gotta at least give him a chance, which means we're probably dumping you too, which means our economy has no reason to exist here, but <laughs> nevertheless. Tier fours get buffed. Potato perk. Friends summoned if in battle, give it plus three health. So I see the value there for our for our gorilla, I suppose. Would, would I be okay dumping a silk moth to buff our gorilla by three when it comes out and then possibly by six? I would say I'm not thrilled by the idea, but I would say I'm I'm tempted. Like, I think we're going to live or die with our gorilla, so that it makes some sense to me. And then you should probably take this, which will also buff us. Okay. I got to be honest, though, I don't have a lot of faith in this squad. I'm saving two gold every time just to get two gold back, but I, it's... get. Well, what the heck was that? <laughs> Getting the two gold back doesn't matter that much because I can't spend it or I lose the ability to, to keep the two gold that I had in the first place. You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of saving, getting two extra gold on the save every turn when getting the gold doesn't matter because I have to save the gold in order to spend it next time? Either way, little bird hung in there and kept us going. I'm putting my faith in, in this gentleman yet again. Listen. Not you. Probably you. This is probably not very cost-effective right here. Yet here we are. This uses three extra gold next turn. Probably something we should have looked at when we still had a gazelle. We need an empty space. We got an empty space. That's pretty good. If we could just get you... Then we haven't done it yet. But if we could just get you to level two... I think at level two, or with a level two sea turtle kicker, you could, you could do some surprising work for us. We should also, in, in my personal opinion... I think we should consider dumping our flea at some point. The enemy squad has a flying fish, which to me means that I, I already know that I'm dead. No, we beat a flying fish team. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. I'm thrilled. I still don't think the gazelle is the squad, the, the guy for the squad here. This is the guy for the squad. On a friend's summon, give it 20% of this pet's attack. So you would get 1.6 <laughs> attack. <laughs> Maybe it's the right time. I mean, the magpie is like our second best unit, but it's a pretty... It's, a, it's close running. Let's give it a chance and then like try to find a way to scale you. This is scaling in a sense. And we can spend all of our gold now. So that's nice. I got that going for me, which is nice. Onion, do I need you? I don't think I need anybody moving back. So we're doing nothing with our gold, which to me means roll to set yourself up possibly in the future. It's such like a bad buy right now, like a two gold apple. You're free gold, but why do we care? Like we get buy sell out of it, but that only really matters if we have like a bird of paradise. So we're basically just trying to funnel all of our stats into the gorilla that comes out of the, the monkey here. And it's like... 
I'm not saying it can't work. I guess what I would be saying is I'm like a little... I wouldn't even say pessimistic is the word. I would just say I I consider... Let's go! The, the, the German Shepherd allowed us to buff the monkey, which allowed us to kill the gorilla without it getting coconut armor, which allowed us to win. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Um... What am I doing, though? <laughs> where, do, where do I go from here? Roll me. Thank you so much for a level. I couldn't have asked for more. Get a coconut? Six trumpets to get a coconut perk? We don't have six trumpets. Are you crazy in this economy? You summon pigs, which is not... Well, actually, that is relevant for us. Never mind. But then we have to... Are we really willing to sell a flea to make this happen? The flea's been kind of fun for us, but... I guess I'm willing to give it a chance. I guess I'd prefer for you to not die. So th basically, this is just... We're, we're doing a, an inverted pack one summon build. Which is to say, like, we're basically building, like, horses, turkeys, and flies. I'm happy to be alive. I'm not happy my sea turtle died. But you know what? We're still going to get the... The pigs are still going to get summoned. They're still going to get... No, they're not. Where did... What happened to my pigs? <laughs> We're drawing. That weakness did quite a number on me. What happened to my pigs? Did I... I might have just blacked out for a second there. I'm sure they existed. PETA. I see, the, I see how that could work on our gorilla, but I also feel like the, the banana is important to give us this extra summon. No, I'm, I'm not building into the wolf, okay? I'm, or the, the bear, I'm sorry. Four, five, six, two. I can't, I, I mean, this is still two, two. So I'm, I'm not turning up my nose at it, but I am also definitely feeling like it's, it's extremely important for us to get this German Shepherd to level two if we want any chance of not getting, not just losing, but getting like a little clowned on in the late game. Also, level three gorilla would kind of go insane. What are you spitting out? What are you spitting out here? A slug. So this is a, tr a pseudo trumpet build? I don't know. I don't know. No, you're, you're building into a big coconut guy, aren't you? You're, it's a frog build? Yeah, no, I knew it. I, I, I smelled that coconut coming a mile away. We got more frog attacks. I think we're going to make it. Dude, the wolf pig strat. Are you seeing it? They, they build like the uh, hyper-efficient frog build. Still loses to three pigs. Thank you so much. I think we still need this. I'd still love some more chocolate, though. You're going to call me crazy for this one? I'm buying an apple on turn 12. But it's, I'm not just buying an apple for you. I'm also buying one-fifth of an apple for every unit that we summon. Oh, a, oh, how creative. A bear build. Okay, here we go. And the flying fish. L listen, I know we're just in the test build. Maybe it's a little too early to get upset with teams that we run up against. They have three life, eight wins in 12 rounds. See, I didn't want to hear that because now I'm realizing that this squad is like equally balanced with us. And so, and that makes me feel bad. We're going to lose this one. But it's a squad we deserve to go up against. We're like equally matched in terms of our results so far. I'm not building bears. I'm sorry. I refuse. I'll put one at... I'll put one of these on you. Can I get some chocolate, by the way? Or like a matching unit? Can I get some chocolate or a matching unit, please? Thank you. Nope, not possible. I don't think we're scaling enough. But that I've learned in Super Auto Pets, even if you're not scaling, you can still win by just matching up against teams that are not very good. <laughs> Um, there's going to be a 50-50 dog on this team at some point. I have to feel like that's going to be tough for us to get over. Because I have a, at least a certain understanding of mathematics. But you know what? It's not a... Oh, no, it is a 50-50 dog. 
I was so excited when I thought that it was only going to be like 33-33. This is what it's all about here. Is there any chance? Yes. Yes, there is. Holy cow. Thank you, Sea Turtle. That takes us to nine wins. Chocolate. Chocolate or a match, please. For now, I'm happy to keep buffing you, but I, did, I want more. And I do want you to get to level three, but I've never even seen a... Pardon me. I've never done a German Shepherd build in this game to begin with. To, to see it hit level two is the sort of stuff that it's like what dreams are made of, you know? Level two flea. It's not a sniper build, though. Oh, you repeated the, the faint effect. So, like, my whole squad is weak. And yet, I think we're actually... I don't think we're going to get a chance to see a level two. Oh, we're going to... By one. No, we had enough HP. Let's go. <laughs> We're not going to get to see our level two German Shepherd, but that's because the squad ran up anyway. Okay, turns out Maka. Pretty good unit, especially if you can get it to level two. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. That helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya.